What is happening, Magnusites? Uh, just got back from seeing Super Pets. Super Pets, yeah. I know I was late on that. I'm going to try to go see Bullet Train tomorrow. So, went to check this out. And let's see, what can you expect from, huh? What? What? Was it woke? No! <laughs> it wasn't woke. Stop! Stop! Had a woke moment though. It did. Had a woke moment though. And when it happened, this lady that was sitting near me was like, interesting. So you know a lot of parents aren't cool with this. You know, I already heard something about Light here, which I didn't get a chance to see, but whatever. Whenever I see it, I'll see it. But, um, yeah, so there's that. But 99% of the movie, not woke. So, if you are a DC fan, if you're a fan of crypto, if you are a fan of Superman, that all rhymed, don't need to play the game, bars, if you are a fan of Batman, or if you are a fan of the Justice League, if you are a fan of Pixar-like animation, I would say it's worth a sit down to go and watch. It's a, you, well, do you have to go to the movies? No, you can wait for HBO Max. But the whole premise of this story is that um, the Justice League gets themselves in some trouble. You know what it kind of reminds me of now? Remember in Thundercats? When the Thundercats all got captured, there was that one episode where Snarf, who they underestimated, was underestimated. Snarf was the one to get animals together and save the Thundercats. <laughs> snarf, Snarf. Oh, oh, I know. Thank you, Snarf. Thunder, 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 thundercats. Ho! So anyway, it reminds me of that. So he ends up meeting his buddy. Kev, the Kevin Hart dog, and a few other pets. There's these other pets that are affiliated with Lex Luthor that hatch a plan, and it just it, it just goes crazy. And they have to help save the Justice League. So when I walked up in there, the funny thing is, when I, I just forgot that this is a kid's movie. So when I... Because I'm just so used to doing reviews and watching anime and watching cartoons for you guys and stuff like that. So I walk up in there and I'm just hearing all this noise. I'm like, why are people so loud? And I was like, oh, it's, it's, it's a kid's movie. It's a kid's movie. So kids, family, movie. They didn't really take me out of it. The kids were pretty good for the most part during the movie. So the uh, CGI animation... I thought was top notch. I had fun with that. There was something that I realized in the flapping of the capes. I think that in a couple of the movies, thinking Superman Returns and even in like Man of Steel, I'm not sure of Man of Steel, but they may have said something about, you know, Superman has the symbol on his cape too. But when you're doing the whole flapping thing, it could be kind of complicated. It seems as though they have perfected it this time. So Crypto and Cal L's cape flapping in the wind with the symbol on it is perfection. In the beginning, the beginning is probably my favorite scene. It's probably my favorite scene. It was actually kind of it might might make you you know it's the aww aww type of tear up stuff. I didn't tear up though because I'm a complete savage. However, uh, it's one of those moments. You know what I mean. Uh, the funniest line in the film goes to the pig. The pig had the funniest line. And Crypto had the best couple of badassery moments. Yeah. He's Kryptonian. 
So, you know, he, he's got some badassery moments there. The comedy was okay. The comedy was okay. You know, um, I, you know, it's a kid's family movie. So, you know, sometimes it can be a little hit or miss depending on where they're shooting for with the comedy. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes we can see kids and family comedy as a little too corny or cheesy or it might kind of just hit you flat because it's really shooting. It's low, really low hanging fruit kid jokes. There was some of that, but there was some of it that was, you know, it was genuinely funny. Um, I would say that the, um, let me see, where was I going with that? Damn it. Kid jokes. Oh, there were some, if you're a DC fan and you really read the comic books and you know your stuff, there's Easter eggs in there for you. Okay, um, The Rock and Kevin Hart were, were, were good. They were good in it. I was about to say they were the stars of it, but the rest of the pets, <laughs> the rest of the super pets were pretty funny. Um, they, they replaced Green Lantern, though. They replaced Green Lantern with a thick black woman. I've never seen that swap before. I was like, wait a minute. It's not Hal Jordan or John Stewart. It's this thick black chick. Tell me if she was ever in the comics. Because it totally threw me off. I was like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, she was cool, though. Um, Wonder Woman was badass. Batman was funny and badass. Batman, wait till you see how Batman gets dropped. Batman gets dropped in this one scene. Boom! Wait till you see how he gets dropped. I was like, what? Wait till you see how he falls when he gets dropped. I was like, damn! They took it out Batman like that? Aquaman was cool. Superman was cool. Lois is in it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's I, I think if you're a DC fan, it's worth just checking out. Whether you go to the movies or not. Whether you want to wait for it or not. It's not something I'm going to tell you. You got to go see it. It's not the Batman. You you must see the Batman if you are a DC fan. You must. Not this. Okay. I could have waited for it to come out. But I did want to see it. I wanted to see um, if it was going to be good or not. Because I wasn't sure about it. So... I'm going to give this um, a little bit over the middle of the road. I'm going to give it a three out of five. Woos! All right, so go ahead and check it on out. And let me know what y'all think, if you already saw it, in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. And, oh, there is a post credit scene that has something to do with another movie coming out this year. So I think as fans, we might get what we want. Yeah. <laughs> we might. I feel as though it's hinting at something. Now I can go. 10 million subscribers. Woo.